Hi everybody, Mark here from AmericanAeration.com. Thanks for joining me today. It's a foggy morning out at our local pond here, but uh, it's still a good time to be out and about and, and hanging around uh, a beautiful pond setting. I wanted to talk today about how to size a fountain or surface aerator for aeration purposes for your pond. We know that particularly with fountains, they're going to provide some aesthetic appeal and that's a big part of the role that they play, but they do aerate well. In fact, they can aerate better than anything else because you're actually, when you bring oxygen into a pond, uh, it's happening at the surface of the pond. This connection between the atmosphere and the surface, the more agitation you bring to the surface, the more opportunity there is for oxygen to get into the water. And so surface aeration is a powerful way to do that. I'm going to use the casco system as an example today. They have three types of surface aeration to work with. We have the true surface aerator. This is a high volume exchange type device that will oxygenate better than anything that you can, anything else that you could put in a pond. And then we have the VFX fountains like you see, I think you can see it behind me. It's pretty foggy, but this is a single pattern upside down bell curve style. Not that fancy, but it still looks good, but it is a good aerator and does a fantastic job. And then we have the decorative fountains. The true decorative fountains have multi-patterns, all kinds of patterns that you could utilize. Um, and they're definitely there for their looks. But all three will aerate well if they're sized properly. And that's the key. Whatever brand you're looking at, wherever you're shopping around, be sure to check with a representative of the manufacturer or the dealers and ask them what is the size recommendation for aeration and you will be sure to be covered then when you when you put it in your pond so with the casco system what they suggest for the surface aerators the af series is one horsepower per surface acre with their vfx which is their aerating fountain like you see here they suggest 1.5 to 2 horsepower per surface acre and in this case, in this example, we have a pond a little over an acre. It's elongated. It has an island in the middle. And we've used two one horsepower 4400s here, and uh, they will aerate the pond very well. Finally, we have the decorative fountains, the J series as they call them. And for those, they suggest two to three horsepower per surface acre. And again, as you can see, as we move up the line, the efficiency of each system is a little bit less. So they compensate for that by bringing in more horsepower, more movement, more water volume exchange. And basically, if you do that, you can use any of these for aeration purposes and have very good results, but they have to be sized properly. And, you know, in terms of the J series uh, sizing, I don't really have a problem with going up a little bit in the horsepower because you will get a larger pattern display from that and then you are assured i think of make you know just having a very good presentation with excellent aeration capability too so uh, we will use these surface based aeration tools in in any pond that a customer may want you know to put them in but generally speaking i think they work very well in ponds from eight to ten feet or less uh, we may use them in conjunction with a subsurface aeration device if a pond is quite deep because a lot of times you do want to oxygenate at the bottom of the pond, really increase oxygen there, and combining a surface aerator or fountain with a subsurface is probably the best bank for the buck to, to get oxygen, you know, significant oxygen low in the pond. Uh, they work cohesively together to do that. So at any rate, again, sizing these surface-based options are uh, is pretty important um, if you really want to make sure your pond is well aerated and also the display looks good size them properly and you won't be disappointed so at any rate i hope that's helpful if you have any questions about your pond or pond aeration as always reach out to me my name is mark you can find me at americanaeration.com Thanks for joining me on this foggy morning at my local pond, and I hope you have a great day wherever you are.